What's going on Babylonians? It's me Songs of Rays and today we'll be having a dive into the hardest training ground to get into but also has some of the best upgrades for your arsenal with the KS23 damper stock and homing rockets for the fat boy. This is going to be the full guide for the testing ground of number 11 covering what you need to be able to do before and how to complete all the puzzles if should you get stuck. Well what are we waiting for? Let's get the video started. Alright, first things first, we need to access the testing ground. What makes ground 11 different from the others is the unique un unlock method of the door, requiring both a spin lock puzzle and a key to be able to gain access. Now the spin lock is just like any other you've faced in the game and randomised every time you click into it. As for the key, the game doesn't provide you any hints for this nearby, but fortunately it isn't too far away. Heading from the hut towards the railway tracks, you can find an outpost with a fence and gate all the way around. To get in here, you can go one of two ways. You can either activate the hawk to drop down and use the ropes to be able to get inside the compound, or you can do what I did and use the trains to be able to mantle on and then hop over the fencing. Once inside, expect a lot of company as robots are swarming the place, including roller droids, security cameras and the scientist droids. Once all have been taken care of though, head inside the small hut near the security gate and on the floor will be a corpse with the key next to them in a container. Grab the key, leave the compound and you're now good to go. Once you've used the elevator to head into the training ground, feel free to be able to scout around to use the save point and loot around for supplies. After you've done this, head in towards the first puzzle room to find the first challenge. Now this tasks you with rotating and navigating a set of four sections to reach the end over on the right of the room. It also involves the use of magnets on the roof to help elevate yourself in parts, but that will come into play in the second half of the section. To start, we need to use the gear to rotate the levels one time and then mantle your way up to the open door, but instead of going through it, just jump past it and go to the next gear. This way we can use the yellow section and we can now have it so that the open door is at the top. To get into the yellow section though, what we need to do is use the magnet walkway and then use shock on the roof to be able to allow ourselves to hop over the fence. Line yourself up and jump through the open door. Before moving off though, use the gap in between the green and the yellow sections to land on a magnet ledge, granting access to the third gear to be able to rotate the other platforms. Using this twice will now mean that the door is on the bottom for the red section, which is perfect for what we need to now do. To get through this though, we now need to jump through the green section's open door and use the magnet sections to get some height and then jump with our dashes to be able to get through the opening in the fence. Once we're through, drop to the bottom section, go through the open door and use the magnet ledge to get to the exit door where in front of you and down the corridor will now be the bronze prize. Before we head to the next room though, follow the corridor down, head left and allow yourself to be able to climb up some scaffolding and this will be a nice easy place for some chest and some supplies. The next room is going to be a fun puzzle tasked with heating up some generators with energy balls similar to that of what we've done in the campaign already. Once inside the room though, activate your scanner to reveal the locations of all hostile bots that are not currently moving, acting as surprises if you get too close. I would recommend dealing with these first before the puzzles as it will make your job so much easier. Once you're all done, grab a ball, put it in the first tube to your right and then use your interact button to be able to grab it and drag it along the pipe into the first generator and while this can be fiddly at times it shouldn't pose you too much trouble.
The next can be found inside the house, so bring a ball with you, climb up to the roof and drop down inside. Put the ball in the tube, drag it to the door, and then solve the rotating lock puzzle to be able to open and let yourself out, and then carry on bringing the ball with you towards the generator. Strangely enough, even though there are three generators in this room, just with these two now completed, the third doesn't need doing, allowing you to be able to progress and then grandpa budger loot on the way to be able to get your silver rewards. As for the gold rewards, we now need to be able to follow the corridor and head inside a tunnel. Appearing out the other end, we're now tasked with grabbing two more energy balls to get past the revolving platforms and out through the exit door. This is more a test of your speed rather than wit, as you need to be able to leap over obstacles to be able to grab both of the balls, but also to be able to get out and grab the gold rewards. The energy balls can be found in the room to your right, having another revolving platform and a chest high barricade, asking you to mantle before you be able to grab the ball or to be able to get over, with the second being past the door. The first one can be a little bit tricky to be able to get right, but it is best to be able to grab as you stand on the platform and over to the left, especially when the left starts to dip down as it starts to rotate, allowing you line of sight on the orb to be able to grab with your interact button. Doing this will then stop the platform from rotating, allowing you to be able to leap over the bars and be able to grab the second. Make sure that you do keep this first orb safe though, as you will need to be able to both to be able to progress into the last bit. So mantling over the bars, grabbing the second orb, bringing back, both back to the first rotating section, and this now tasks you would be able to work on your aim with flinging the orbs towards the wall sockets. I found the best method for this was to be able to hold down my interact button so that I always had max power, walk yourself towards the barriers and aim around about this high above the target. What this should do is when you let go it will now cause the ball to be able to fly out of your hand, end up going towards the socket and then automatically socket in, meaning that you only need to repeat this one more time to be able to then progress towards the exit. With these now both socketed though, the platform should start to rotate slightly slower, giving you the enough time to be able to make it past the door and giving you the gold rewards. What I will say is that using your dashes and being able to jump over the barrier is very key on this because you can still fall down into the section below, so make sure that you're very quick when you get to this section. But there you go, and with that, it pretty much wraps it up for when it comes to the guide to testing ground 11. Let me know in the comment section down below, have you already completed this one? Did you enjoy the rewards for this, and how would you rate this one compared to the others? I personally found this one one of the better ones to be able to do in the whole of the game, especially that first section where, it, looking back on it, being able to make this guide, it's relatively simple, but it did take me a good 15-20 minutes to be able to try and figure out what's going on, and uh, I had a lot of fun with this one. Definitely one of the better ones, in my opinion. Massive thank you for making your way to the end of the video. If you want to see more from us at Babylon then make sure to click that subscribe button so you never miss out on a future video. But anyways, with all that said and done, just leaves me to say, keep yourself safe, keep yourselves well, and we'll see you all on our next video.